gentlemen. In today's video, we are going to be reacting to Sneeko losing a debate because of his lack of understanding on the Godhead or the Trinity. Before we get started, my name is Ronald Aaron. I help build young lost men into strong soldiers of Christ through self-improvement and theology videos. You're definitely interested in that because you're watching content like this. So please hit that subscribe button and the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It's a win-win for the both of us. That being said, let's dive straight into the video. No, no, come, come. I want to I wanna have a little dialogue with you, man. I'm not trying to... Not trying to what, what do you want to talk about? I'm not, I'm saying I'm trying to hear your views on, on Christianity. You normally have a lot to say okay, on your... How many gods do you believe in? One. One God. Is yeah. Jesus God? Absolutely. Let's deal with it that okay. way. So, who did Jesus pray to? The Father. All right, that sounds like there's more than one now. How well, can, there's how can more... God pray to himself? Because there's more than one hypostasis in the Godhead. There's not more than one God, because God in this case refers to the nature, the divine nature, as, uh, as mentioned in 2 Peter 1, 4, the divine physis in Greek. So we understand there's one nature. That's what we refer to when we say one God. These persons have the nature. God is one in nature, tr try and hypostasis. But the hypostasis aren't separate beings, because being is once again proper to the nature. So there's one being, in three persons. What's that word you're using? Hypostasis. Well, what's your definition of that? Person, individual subsistence and a rational so nature. They're separate or they're together? Distinct, not separate. What's the difference between distinct and separate? Well, separable means they can be taken apart. We're not saying they can be it's taken apart. semantics. I can't, I, I, it's I not semantics, it's metaphysically different. See, I was watching a video on Destiny reacting to this debate itself, and he mentioned something very, very interesting that the moment somebody in a debate, especially when we're talking theology, especially when we're talking about such deep and vast topics, just like religion, the moment you use the word semantics as if it's a counter attack, well, that's the moment you lose. And this is his, his words. So you're going to have to be super, super clear and distinct when it comes to the words and verbiage that you use and utilize in debates and especially discussions like this one. So I definitely believe in what, I don't know what the guy in the right, his name is. Maybe you guys can educate me in the comments down below. But especially if we're becoming soldiers of Christ, we're definitely going to have to understand who we're soldiers of. Christ is God. What is God? Who is God? God is a being. God is a nature. And this nature, this who, is occupied by three persons. So it's so it's super, super interesting how these conversations come about. But let's see, let's see how else Sneeko would be reacting to this. Separation implies like this, I can separate this from myself, but a distinction just implies that there is a difference between two things without being able to separate them. And they're different insofar as their identity as Father, Son and Holy Spirit. They're not different insofar as their nature once again. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are you sure you believe in one? Absolutely, I believe in one God. Okay. So when you pray, do you pray to God or you pray to Jesus? Either or, it's the same thing. Same. Either is that that mean that applies too. <laughs> yeah. See how the language is already you can Whoever honors the son honoreth the father. So let's not <laughs> let's not act like they're not the same. So if you pray to the father, you pray to the son with the intercession of the Holy Spirit. What a okay. Mm, you can make a linguistic point if you want. The point is I could say I could say oh God or I could say oh Jesus. I'm just saying there's not really a distinction between saying either of those things. Okay. It's, the, it's, like it's, the, okay, it's like the difference between saying, oh, Ya Allah and Ya Rahman. It's just, you can say either or, but you're referencing back to the same being, right? That's just two names. Yeah, that's the point. And we're just giving you two names of persons in the Godhead. You're saying two distinct not, See, you need to not say names. separate entities. These are distinct persons, but they are one being. So that's just not characterizing what I said correctly. The reason why it's super, super, <laughs> super, super hard to understand the reason as to why wait that's three persons one god or like are they not separate beings like what it's because it's god unlike any other creature unlike any other creation the mystery of the godhead is clear though the mystery of god is clear the mystery is clear first timothy chapter 3 verse 16 
God was manifest in the flesh through the person of Jesus Christ. And the person of Christ, the person of the Son, is who he reveals God to be. It's going to be quite, because I'm even still, as a Christian, for 22 years of my life, by the mercy of the Lord, am still grappling on the nature of God and the theology behind the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, let's go ahead and continue, though. Because I'm, I'm just, this is from my understanding. So, let's, let's keep it going. So, is that your contention, Christianity, that we're allegedly tritheists or polytheists? Is that your contention? No, that's just why, that's what I don't resonate. It never makes sense to me. Well, I, I just to people, like, broke it down. Let me explain. I speak to it doesn't make sense to me. That's why I don't believe it. <laughs> is essentially Sneagos' position. Ethan Orthodox, Catholics, mm -hmm. Jehovah's Witnesses, Christian scientists, Mormons, everybody has a different definition. Yeah. Whether it's a form, it's a distinct being. Jesus is God. There's only one God. There's three gods. There's the Holy Spirit. Wh which, which, which Christians are you talking to that said there's three gods? Oh, a lot. The Christians are never consistent about what they believe. Well, anyone who told you... Well, technically, the Bible does state that there are many gods, but there's only one God Almighty. And whenever the capital G is pronunciated or mentioned in the Bible, it's always referring to God Almighty. There's only one God Almighty. That nature of God is in three distinct persons. I've never heard well, that's, that's the standard formula that has been for centuries, for two, nearly 2,000 years, this has been our standard formula, formulization. I mean, once again, I don't know any I'm Christian who says... the first time I've heard a Christian say, like, I ask, okay, you believe in one God, and then he says, yeah. either or. If you played a one, you wouldn't use the word either. I don't understand what you mean by that. You said you believe in one. You say you believe in one, but yeah. you ask, who do you pray to, Jesus or God? You said either one. No, I'm saying either, I'm saying either or. Either well, or. you can either twist or. my language that, if you want, but as I already made clear, we're talking about hypostases. We're talking about the fact that it, any of them are God according to us, but we still pray to any of them. Why does homie sound like he's about to <laughs> perform a drill music about the Godhead? <laughs> as God, there's not really a distinction in regards that they are God. But there's no difference between that and saying you can call upon any of the names of your God and it's still referring to the same being. That's not necessarily a problem. Yeah. Yeah, no, that sort of rhetoric is why I love Christianity and why Tawheed makes sense to me. The but that's not rhetoric. That that's calling it rhetoric isn't, you know... I'm not calling it rhetoric. I'm just you did. You said, you it's, just you said, said that you sort of rhetoric. you're explaining it right now, just, it still doesn't make sense. That's called a personal incredulity fallacy. So appealing to your own lack of understanding of a thing does not entail a thing is not true. Yeah, that was... I just said that. Sneeko's entire position in this entire discussion has been, I don't understand it. It never made sense to me. Therefore, it cannot be true. So essentially, <laughs> the, the uh, I don't know. I don't know. Only one God. Yes, we understand that there's only one God, meaning like there's only one God Almighty. There's only one God. What does that have to do with Jesus not being God or the Father not being God or the Holy Spirit not being God? So, so then it becomes the understanding of whether or not God is a, how do I say, the nature of God. Can he or can he not become three persons? So it's not become three persons, but is it not possible for there not to be three distinct persons? I'm super, super, as you can see, like very, very nitpicky with the words I say as long as I, you know, just to make sure that I don't utter any blasphemic or heretical statements, bro. That's fallacious. This is Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel. Hey, don't call, don't, hey, yo, don't call her a prostitute. He just called her a prostitute in Arabic. Have some manners. Bro, show your, show your manners. Why are you talking about? Don't, don't call people a shot. Why are you talking about? Don't call, don't call women a shot. Don't call women a shot. She's not a prophet. Your motherfucker. Regardless, don't call people a shot. To be better. Are you Christian? Be better. Are you Christian? Be better. Are you Christian? Be better. 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 Over her lover! Yaki, what's your adab? She won't! Adab. Brother, be bad with these man! His dick! Longer than donkey! Where is this? What that is happening? This is the Islamic adab! This is the manners of Muslims! 
was one donkey. This is no, the one the donkey. Yeah, we scare you. Just walk away. Just walk away. Just walk away. Just walk away. Leave her alone. 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 Don't touch me, son of a bitch. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. What just happened, bro? That's the woman. You notice what the guy with the long hair said. He said, "This is how Muslims act." Now, of course. I understand that not one action of a Muslim describes the entirety of the religion of Islam. So that that's not necessarily genuine. Okay, that's a little bit of a disingenuous characterization. But this is why being a Christian, being a soldier of Christ, is so important. Because if you act one way. How you appear to non-believers, your very life, your very conduct of manner, your manner of conduct, is a testament to the faith that you hold. So this is in Philippians, I believe. Saint Peter, or excuse me, Saint Paul, was talking to the Philippians and how, if I am not there with you, let your manner or let your manner of life. Only be worthy of the gospel. Why? Because whether I'm here or I'm there, people can see you, and people can judge the faith through you. So it's very, very important for us not to only be fans of Christ, not to only just know of Jesus Christ, but to know Christ. And I don't think there's any much more to add to this video. I think the video is just done at this point, but we can just understand as well the position that Sneeko is holding, right? Which is, I don't understand it, therefore it cannot be true. That's every, <laughs> I feel like that's every um, people who leave the Christian faith as well. Like, oh, there there are uh, misconceptions in the, in the Bible. There are, um, the Bible is corrupt. And I'm just like, what are you talking about when you say corrupt? What, what, do, what does that mean? Sure, there are many manuscripts. We have a little, I, I believe, a little over 30,000 manuscripts of the New Testament alone in different languages. I think there's like 10 to 15,000 of uh, Greek, the rest uh, Latin and uh, other languages. And so all of those may not be word for word the same, but as long as the theology and the meaning behind it is the same, there's no problem with it. The same way how you can translate, for example, if I speak in Tagalog, Kamusta ka na, mama? May pagkain ba tayo sa bahay? And then you ask me, what does that mean? And I said, hey, oh, I was just asking my mom, or I was just telling my mom hello and if there's food at home. I may not be translating it word for word for word for word in the positioning of the words in context but it's the same essence so to us christians that doesn't really matter whether or not it's preserved to the fullest word as long as the pres preservation of the theology and the meaning and the essence and the spirit behind the manuscripts are the same then we have no problem and that is it ladies and gentlemen for this video hopefully you have liked it and if you have made it to this point of the video then you obviously have so you might as well hit that subscribe button and the like button hit that notification bell so you are notified anytime we upload a new video in order to push these types of contents out to more and more people to understand the truth about the christian faith that being said of course if you are going to comment then make sure to keep it peaceful cordial and respectful in the comment section down below you can follow me on my instagram at the renal aaron and of course please i urge each and every one of you to join my brotherhood my free discord community of christians who are not only into theology but also into self improvement and binding the two together we have a lot of young christians in there who are trying to quit bad habits who are understanding and wanting to learn more about theology and so much more in this community click the top link in the description down below and i will see you all in there that being said it has been renal aaron i'll see you guys in the next one peace out